and welcome. It's day five of Compassion Camp, and it's hard to believe that we've already completed a full week of Vacation Bible School Compassion Camp. So I hope it's been a great time for you. It's been fun for me. Uh, it's been fun for others as I've listened to them as they've been recording, and so I hope it's all been a good time. I was just looking at a picture yesterday of last year's VBS when we were all in this room together and how fun that was. And it was, I was brand new as a pastor and it was good to meet all of you and have you meet me. And we didn't get to do that this year. So I'm hoping that next year uh, we'll be back in this room uh, with a new Vacation Bible School, but in person. We'll just have to wait and see how that works out. But I'm glad we can do this. And it's been overwhelming. Uh, I just feel overwhelming with that joy, uh, that happiness, uh, a little bit of the sadness but because we're not together. But I'm glad that we have this tool, the internet, that we can do this uh, in, in, even though we're separate. So I just talked about being overwhelmed with a good feeling, but sometimes we're overwhelmed with feelings that are less comfortable or maybe even scary. Um, I remember when I had little, my kids were much smaller, how I can remember one time in particular when I was uh, watching my daughter, and she probably was about three, and we were in a clothing store. And I don't know if you remember, but clothing stores, you have these racks and they have clothes, and sometimes those racks are circles. And she, I was there with her and, and Shelly, my wife, was over somewhere else with our son, Paul, and Katrina thought it would be fun to go into the center of those clothes and hide. So I looked up and I couldn't see my little daughter. And I thought she got lost. I was really scared there for a second. And I remember being overwhelmed with a very uncomfortable feeling of fear and, and anger because I felt like I had lost her and I was really panicky. And then she came out and was laughing and we had a little conversation about not doing that because it scared dad. So, um, so that's sometimes we're overwhelmed with sad or scary feelings. That's, that's part of life. Um, and when a job feels too big, I can feel overwhelmed. Um, when we've made too many mistakes in a row, I can feel overwhelmed, right? And when I feel that way, I want to start over. I want a fresh start. I want the chance to try again and make everything right. Have you ever had the opportunity to start again, do something over on a project that was just overwhelming? Have you ever wanted to take a break and rest before trying again? Ever wanted just to make a fresh start? Fresh starts are good. And when we take and have a fresh start, we can feel helpful about the next step. Sometimes it just helps us think differently. And imagine how great it feels when you clean your room. You can see all the things where they belong. You can play on the empty floor. And an empty floor can feel peaceful. But sometimes I feel overwhelmed when something is not fair or not just, and I just don't know how to fix it. We call that injustice. And injustice can be overwhelming. It just seems so big and so hard. Imagine a rule in your classroom that favored one of your friends but didn't help you. How would you feel if your teacher changed the rule so you all could succeed in your own ways? Then you could feel more relief, wouldn't you? When people do not have what they need or are treated badly, I feel frustration and sadness makes it really sad. We talked about seeing somebody and, f and really seeing where they're at and then having empathy or feeling. 
for them and imagining what it's like not to have enough food or, or to feel um, picked on or persecuted because of the way you look or, or whatever. In those times, I pray for justice. And I pray to make for things, uh, I pray for things to be made right. So uh, we're going to, Mr. Jeremy's going to come on and we're going to learn a song together called the Art Com Compassion Prayer. And uh, so here's Mr. Jeremy. Hello, everybody. As Pastor said, we have a song today called Compassion Prayer. And I, I really like this song because it helps us pray for, our, for others and ourselves because we all need compassion. It goes like this. May we be filled with compassion. May we be filled with compassion. May we be filled up to the top of our hearts. May we be filled up to the top of our hearts. When we have the power to make something right, when we have the power to make something right, may we show God's love. May we show God's love. May we be shown compassion. May we be shown compassion. May we be found in the center of peace. May we be found in the center of peace. When we have needs that others can meet, when we have needs that others can meet, may we find God's love. May we find God's love. So this, the title is Compassion Prayer, and the song serves as a prayer for us. May we be filled with compassion, May we be filled to the top of our hearts. When we have the power to make something right, may we show God's love. May we be shown compassion. May we be found in the center of peace. When we have needs that others can meet, may we find God's love. Yeah. It's a, a beautiful prayer that even if you don't sing the song, you can keep those words in your head and, and pray that prayer. Um, so I have my friends with us again today that are going to sing it for you. I hope you sing along, um, and you can play it on, on repeat. Um, you'll find on YouTube, um, we've created a playlist of just the songs um, that you can listen to and, and learn them and memorize them. And, and with your parents, um, make a video and send it to us um, because we would love to see you. Um, so it's been wonderful sharing music with you this week, and I hope you've enjoyed our songs from Compassion Camp. Here's the, here's the choir with Compassion Prayer. said that that's a song that you can take with you past just this week and uh, even use it as a prayer for your own life. In today's story, we learn, um, we learn that God loves fresh starts, just like we talked about before. God loves giving people new chances to try again or to rest. In fact, when God shared the laws with Moses, God included something very special so everyone would have a fresh start every once in a while. As we prepare to learn about fresh starts, let's begin with our compassion prayer for today. So, place one hand on our heads because compassion happens in our brains and one hand on our hearts because often we feel it in our hearts or emotions. So, Repeat after me, please. Joyful Spirit, your loving hands are always creating freedom, release, and fresh starts. 
Help us do the same today by caring for all living things with gentleness and care. Open us to humbly receive that same care ourselves. Make our hearts smile and our actions sing with your promise of abundance toward the whole world. Amen. Now, listen for the story.